morning, everyone. Welcome to another round of Panzer General. Uh, this time with our attack on the US. And thanks to Ben Jacks for the follow off stream. In case the sound is not correct, please directly tell me. It's always difficult to do this with uh, this game. Yay! We'd already played a little bit, one or two turns, I think. Not that, not too much. And uh, their ugly tanks actually destroyed uh, two of our new recons. Which was very sad, because they were quite experienced. Besides that, we took out one plane. <laughs> took heavy losses while doing so. And... Yeah, we were losing another one. A very good one. How many America bombers have you built? I, I don't build America bombers. It's the other way around, we are the Nazis here. Hi, Earl. And not... Uh, well, it's not going badly, but... Also not not really well, let's say. In fact, we have still 11 turns. A bit uh, difficult because we need to land with our ships here, so we lose a turn. Can't really attack. They can, and so on and so forth. Oof. And the losses are not nice at all. Holy shit, did you see the losses just now? I think we lost eight. Oh yeah, and... We somehow survived that, I'm not sure how. It's very nice because he got an... Additional uh, knowledge. We got reinforcements. The Tirpitz, the Nuremberg, and the Scharnhorst. Plus the Hipper and Max Schultz, apparently, have arrived to help us out. Which is... Kinda neat? Let's think these are Anna first and the Iowa. At least the Troy. And also the Yorktown, apparently. Maybe now we are on the right side of history in this channel. Yes, we are always on the right side. And you know why? Because we are on the winning side. And that's all that matters. Everyone knows that. But why skulls, though? Uh, it's the aesthetic, you know? Uh, they look great. There goes the American fleet. Now, let's see if you can... Help a little bit. How big is your range? Turpets actually six. Not bad. And the Nuremberg. No idea. What can you even do? Anyways. Let's see if we can somehow survive all these uh, attacks here. So you're a fighter. You need to go down. Let's see... Are you enough? Should be. Well, apparently you're not. I need to save a little bit because we still got this bomber lying around, uh, flying around. Then we get a few very, very bad rolls. And really, I'm not talking about... Uh, I'm not talking about bad luck or anything like that. No, we literally have really bad rolls. Like, uh, just now we had something like uh, zero 5 and th the end was 3-3. Three, three. So, that's not good. I was told American bombers are strongest. Biggest and strongest. Obviously, right? 
What do we have in here? Oh, I got a tank in there. Uh, sure. Put it down here. And, yeah, let's see if we, if we can recover a little bit. What is that, actually? Is this an anti-air? Oh... We need to recover our troops from this landing, man. They, they got hurt. Now let's see what would make sense. Well, maybe the recon here can take care of the fleeing anti-air. The biggest, the strongest, the ugliest. Maybe. Oof, 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 oof. What to do? I mean, we destroyed three or four enemy flyers already. That is pretty good. Problem is, they got this thingy here, a P-80-24. You know, wonder it hurt so much. Uh, this nice guy is nearly dead. And I don't think I got another flyer around. No, I don't. Haha. <laughs> that's that's bad. So Where can we benefit? Well, let's take out what we can. Let's see, this would be zero two, 2 right? Now it's 4 1. Nope. So let's shoot from afar. Hey, Baron. How are you doing? Hey! Didn't it say zero two? 2 that, that's, that's not zero two. 2 Holy moly, man. That's what I mean with the bad rolls. We're having these bad rolls the whole time. Two of two to three, right? So, and it's five to three. What is going on? We're having only bad rolls now. Good, good, slow day at work. Right, good. It could be worse then, right? Now I don't know where you got your anti-air, and I hate that I don't know that. Uh, you should be a fair target. Nobody should be with any air near you. Alright, so this is how it looks. But is there more to it? Or can I send my bombers there? If there's an anti the air, I would suffer. But we could attack that thing here. Yeah, yes, we can. Um. Oh, that could have been worse. I'm just scared from these two things here mostly. Uh, they will probably destroy a few of my flyers. But I sadly don't see any other way because you can't be doing and can't be uh, can't do anything. You're just too destroyed. All right, who else can still move you? Uh, please don't. So this could be a bit painful right now. And only one destroyed. That is fine. One of the flyers. It's only a, a fighter, so at least no bomb. But this is also fine. They deployed the anti-air here, that's a bit mean. But this thing here, that, that scares me. It only attacks a tank. Thank... Oh, shit! There's another one. And it 
destroyed it in one turn. At least it took losses too, but holy moly, man. I don't like this very much. Uh, it's time to retake a town. Uh, very much time. Come on! I need to just drive to here. Uh, that's, uh, that's not looking good, man. That was good, but lucky. Units carry over between missions. Yes, uh, or rather, normally. There are uh, a few things, like uh, if they have such wide numbers, then they would not be overtaken. E51D. It's the last one. I think it's the second to last, but uh, I don't like my losses at all. Maybe they are a little bit too quick, because normally you can already buy. Uh, better uh, fighters on your own. But as you could see, that's sadly not possible for us. Yeah, we saw you. So yeah, uh, the main issue that we had is really unlucky rolls quite a few times, where instead of 0-3, zero so 0 losses for us, 3 losses for them, it became 5-5 five, five, or even worse. We had that very often, and that's obviously not very good. Man, I am the attacker and I take it 7 to 1. In fact, he didn't take any losses from this. It's just brutal, this unit here. It's so overpowered. <laughs> See, instead of instead of taking 7 losses and killing 2, we kill 1 and uh, 9 were destroyed. I'm not sure why, but this bad luck we had now the whole time. But if you don't take it out, they take out our, our bombers. Again, same same stuff, right? Uh, unlucky rolls always. There goes all our f our fighters, I think. No, uh, we don't have any actually, and we couldn't have used it because uh, we would need to land it first. But we cannot uh, land it because uh, we need the space for our other uh, troops. Absolute monster, this unit. Taken. That is good. Oh my god. What is this? We, atta we attack and it's 
7-0 against us? Oh my god. It's really brutal. And I'm not really seeing a light in here. This is an anti tank. Now, how far can you go? I guess we need you in there. Here, probably, we can't go to do the marshes. How can you? You got a range of six, which is pretty big. But not big enough. Five. Basically, I think we are a little bit, uh, I mean, we had, pretty, we had a little bit too much success, you could say. Because again, normally you have access to our own super flyers quite early. And sadly we didn't have it yet. So I guess we're a little bit too quick from the timeline. And that's why we are suffering. Oh, it's just the, the mission. And I'm doing it completely normally, but the game doesn't like what I'm doing. But we need to deal with that. Oh yeah, what are you? You fly around. Oh yeah, you got you still, huh? I have a feeling you would destroy me too, just because you can. One four. It's actually not bad. Of course it was only one three in the end again. Like I said, uh I certainly don't have any luck with rolls. All the random decisions so far uh, didn't work out well. Oh, did I miss a ship from them? 5-2, my... Yeah? This was finally something I liked. It was for and my. Uh, for me, not against me this time. No, 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 no. Not like this. Thankfully, for some reason, the enemy prepares to simply run away. And that was again very unlucky. No ammunition left. Then let's see. Let's just roll them up here. And this was anti tank, or. Is it anti tank? Uh, um, hmm. 
was kind of neat. <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't think they got any anti air lying around here. Be gone, bot. Yeah, sadly, I cannot take him away. Uh, I can't go out of the game without stopping it. Massacre. Oh, this is... No, it's not. Let's go up to there. Your range is three. Well, that's not very much. Oh, wait, you, you can go into the town, well, I guess, in theory. Disembark. Disembark. Alright, let's see, what can we do here? First off, bomb a bit more, yeah? That makes sense. Fire that at him. Didn't do much, sadly. Alright, and uh, now we could take the town. That's not enough to take him out. You can only hit this guy anyway, so... Oh yeah, that's our, uh, our Yacht tank, and not the other one. Right, and what else? National, 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 regular... I think we can take out the tank. We couldn't. No man, the roads are really bad. It's it's literally cursed. Again, normally a two seven that can happen from time to time, right? If you uh, should have rolled a nine and you get only uh, a two, but it's happening the whole time. And yeah. At least we can uh, nicely roll them up uh, if our tanks come that far. Uh, this tank probably is toast because uh, this thing here will destroy him. But it is what it is, right? Well, actually, if it hurt him a little bit, it, that might help him survive. Again, this here is it's just dying. Uh, you. It's one of our best ones, actually. A actually, it is probably the best one we have. One to six are good numbers. It even became zero five, which is very much acceptable. Now, you guys, I want you to come closer slowly. So you can then take out uh, that stuff here that is currently heavily fortified. Same issue. Now, let's not lose the overstrength that easy. Where do we need our tanks? Well, we might take a few losses, that is fine. Your range is not just 5, it's 6, I think. Thanks to Marksman. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have all that in range, so you, you better not move. The other guys, though, do move. So that they can help out next turn. Oh, we get two marks, man. That is amazing. 
Hmm, zero, two? That's acceptable. Although, he's probably going to be tagged in by the others, but, you know. Four. Range of four, not good enough. Range of five is better, but not really helpful in the end. Let's attack the Stevens here, the Shan Horse. Range of sticks. Maybe you could help out later on. I guess you simply destroy that ship. This really should have been the fleet now. Then this thing here, I don't know, it didn't work so well so far. It does things, I guess, but that's it. How much ammunition do you have? Eight. Seven. Ah, sadly he has already used up his movement. And he has used up his shots. So... Put him there then. You should help out with this town. Even though we took heavy losses, actually we took this town, we nearly have that taken, right? They don't have much here. So... well, a few tanks, but they're not super heavy. So maybe it will still work out, who knows? How's your chance here? 1 to 5. And if you shoot from afar, 0, 4. Yeah, no losses are better. You stay. You. Um, you better stay where you are also. I still don't know what, I, what to do with this thing here. It does things, I guess. Oh yeah, you, range of three, huh? I want to, uh, I think that's too far still, so nothing you really can do or help us out. Let's see what happens now. One loss, that's acceptable. This guy actually attacks. That was very nice from the AI, I think. Could have hurt me much, much worse. Uh, let's attack here, maybe get lucky. Zero two, no. Sadly, only as expected. Oh, you are back to eight. I don't like this at all. Have you have any chance against you? No, we, no, we don't have any chance against you. Not any. All right. Uh. I think we should need to take you out, if we can, as much as possible. Okay, yeah, that that works. You have no ammunition left? Nope. And you do, but only this overstrength tank in range. Same with you. Uh, I guess that's acceptable. Not, you know, not great, not terrible, but good, that was very good. That was excellent. can take out this one, or nearly, I guess. And then the tanks can, can clean up here. In fact, the very heavily damaged tank can take that one. Ah, no ammunition left? No, you got quite a few left, but you can't shoot anymore. Um, this here is my normal Panda G. Mm. What makes the most sense for us now? I think what I would like to know is, can we go up there? The answer is no, sadly. So the ships are actually useless. Um, with you, you should take this, right? There's nothing in the way. Yes, there's nothing. One, six, that's all quite neat. And I think this direction is where we need to go. One, eight. Sounds good. 
is also anti-air, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, are you heavily entrenched? Not really, but you're also kinda tough. Zero eight. Perfect. Better than expected. More anti-air and a regular. I see. Um, you were anti-air, but only a range of one. I think we should try to take you out directly, even if we take losses, which we didn't take, very luckily. And uh, now we uh, can attack here. Let me use as much as possible. You have already moved, sadly. And the King Tiger should go to this direction, I think. Help out so that these two can take this airport, or this airfield. Then we have this, we make progress in this direction. And it's not so bad anymore, even though I already don't like what will happen to my plane. Uh, I think we also, uh, also took that already, right? There's obviously no need to go any further in this direction. Let's soften them up a little bit. That's entrenchment, hopefully. And let's see, what else? No, nah, not that much. You're still very entrenched, though. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, range is uh, from this finger, I guess. Yeah, range of three. Uh, no need to take these losses if you don't have to. This should be acceptable still. You can go in this direction and help out later on. You do to here, to here, and just go, 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 go. The rush in this direction, to that direction. Zero four against zero five. Fear only three. Ah. I can use the move. You can, and you can shoot. Great. In fact, uh, you can go to there. Don't attack, just hope nothing bad happens to you. In fact, uh, pray. Literally, pr just pray. We took out the anti-air that was uh, here earlier, so... It was pretty safe to go to here. And let's go after the one that's more heavily entrenched. Uh, what else? Well, we won't be moving you. You are still around, that's great. We could take out you. In fact, let's go to there. Can you do anti-air? Not really, only if you are attacked. Shame. Alright, only this tank and turn. Okay, they attack the artillery thingy here, and it's expected they kill our other flyer. And attack again, I think. No, I think he was actually surprised, he didn't know that we were here. Well, it didn't really help us, but... Still. What was that thing just now? I think that was an artillery. That they have placed there. Uh, okay, we have one... Singular, uh... Is it you? Not you. You. One singular, uh... Fighter left. So let's net... Uh, so, well, so let's not waste him. Uh, you have no ammunition or so, so... Actually stay where you are. Not that important what you do, or not. Uh, shoot to here. 07 is very much acceptable. 03 against you also. Then what can we do? Well, 
that. Ah, I thought it would be an overrun. Sadly, it is our hunter tank. So no, that one can't. They took a few new units down there. Or rather, I bought them. Because, uh, again, whenever you have this uh, green border, they can simply uh, buy units around it. <laughs> Die. Alright, now we stand here so they cannot fully reinforce. And that is our hunter. Hunt that thing. Good. Then shoot our artillery. Because if they move, they can't do anything anymore. So no need to waste anything. And let's take a pooler. And in fact, let's take uh, a Rincon also. And there's only this one left, and that means they cannot get any reinf- Well, they can get reinforcement from here still. They get still a uh, green border there. But we should be able to deal with that. Let's see. Time for my infantry to do something again. And now they can't get any reinforcements. Let's see. You suppress them a little bit, but not enough. Uh, there we go. Uh, this thing has a range of three regulars, okay. You're still in range, right? Because you, the range is so super big. Well, then I guess we just need to attack. Zero six, amazing. Uh, we lost two, sadly. I think you lost so much. Let's go for it, uh, a direct attack. Even if it kills our overstrength, it's just something we need to do by now. Uh, one though is very much acceptable. Even though the unit was so injured. And in fact... Let's try to hurry along so that we don't take any other losses. How much money do we have again? Eh, a bit. And you know what? We do need another recon. Because we lost quite a few. Uh, I thought I could place one here. Sadly, I cannot. Maybe because we uh, would need to wait another turn. I don't know. Uh, but I wouldn't mind having one around here. And then... Go down. I also wouldn't mind another fighter plane, but these are not good enough. This year is a 19 maximum, and they got something like 24 as their killer thingy, sadly. Oh yeah, you. Uh, can we go there? Probably. Oh, fuck! Yeah. We didn't see the unit, so it was a surprise attack, and we lost it completely. Yeah. The moment where I would, if I play on my own, simply reload. But it's fine. Did he survive? We did survive, okay. Was that the super one? 
It was. I'm very su surprised we survived so much. Let's get him uh, back to speed. As much as he can. Not a full upgrade, but again, as much as he can. Alright, there's another one of those. That shouldn't matter too much, hopefully, though. Uh, how far can you go? This is pretty much perfect. Not enough, though. Well, I'm not seeing anything here, but there could be something that I'm not seeing because the range of view is only two, so only to here. Still... Anti-tank, but that's it! We can deal with that. In fact, I wouldn't mind attacking in the hope that this thing attacks me and dies. Sadly, it ain't that easy. And all of you together are enough, though. Now, let's see. We got anti-air again. <laughs> yes, it is also not nice to tanks. Not nice at all. Uh, anti-tank and naval brigade of the Soviets. Well, I guess we need to kamikaze a little bit. 4 to 4, acceptable. You would die to this, brutally die. If we go to here, we should be able to attack or help out. Range of 2 sucks, but what can you do? Where should the naval guys? Ah, beautiful. And let's hope that if you can take do a little bit of damage with this thing. Five. That was very good. Really very good. At least we destroyed their fleet. I know it doesn't do anything, but just out of spite, you know. Since we took so many losses. Alright. Then, in fact, uh, we definitely don't need so much. So, a few go up. And a few actually go down in case we still need it. Uh, you, though, let's bring you somewhere where you should be safe. There's no, uh, no need to take a loss for you. Alright. We survived, that's the important part. Surprise attacks, at least we are not very strong. Actually, they were strong enough. Uh, that did you attack anything? Yes, you did, but it wasn't that hard. Now, let's see. Oh, no, no, don't move yet. Alright, we took it. And that means it's only this thingy here left. Um, anything that is in range, yes. Zero four. Attack is too risky. This destroys it. And we did it. But the losses. The losses, mein Führer. Congratulations. Brilliant performance. The capture of Savannah will rank with Tannenberg and Königgratz as great German victories. There is talk of renaming the city in your honor. Oh yeah, the great American city of Franconia. All right. Herr Feldmarschall, due to your unprecedented advance, we will soon see the triumphant finish of our southern campaign. 
Feld Marshal von Manstein's Army Group North is within 100 kilometers of Knoxville. And we... Excuse me, Herr Feld Marshal. Herr Feld Marshal, I have just received information of the most critical importance. Less than 20 kilometers north of us, here, is a large facility. Intelligence reports indicate that the Americans are building a weapon of terrifying explosive power there. It is imperative that we act decisively and destroy this facility. I wonder what this could be. We got the Jagdtiger for free. <laughs> 28 against tanks. <laughs> That's certainly something. Uh, only 28 fuel though. This ship is pretty good. Uh, wasn't there also some movement thingy? Well, who, who cares? Finally, we got the good stuff. Finally. So, we got uh, yet another recon, which is pretty bad, to be honest. We got the Panzer uh, 4J. We got the Jagdpanzer 470. And look at this beauty. We got our our uh, first, how's it called? Our first Düsenschalljäger, anyways, in German. Uh, 22 air attack. We got the Wirbelwind. Uh, this is, this is uh, finally an anti-air that's actually good. Jet aircraft, rocket interceptor, yes. Thanks. Both are okay. Oh, Alright. And actually there would be one more. We're just very quick. For example, the Wirbelwind you can have in the normal campaign. Uh, in Russia, for example. I have it normally there. But we're just... Kinda quick. Now, uh, as you saw, we took a few losses, right? And most of it's okay, I think. Not so important, but we need to upgrade. Oh, this is the initiative, right? Oh, I'm a bit scared because the, the thing is, uh, obviously, the plane with high initiative attacks first, right? And we only got initiative of eight. But well, that's still two better than before, I guess. So yeah, let's get one, or upgraded one, rather. Should we, you know what, should, maybe we should go overstrength for this guy, just because we can. And since now we have already landed, we can actually maybe use a little bit of anti-air. Uh, where was it though? It, in here. But we even got the flak, so they're different actually. Wilburwind is much better against anti-air, but greater movement, it got full track. Much more ammunition, much more fuel. Uh, it got one less range, though. And it's more exp it's cheaper, on the other hand. Let's just get two of those. And maybe we should upgrade our Panther to the King Tigers, too. But first, let's get more airplanes. Like, oh god, look at the prizes. You can get two more, that's it. Uh, can we maybe upgrade another one? Panther to King Tiger is... Ha! <laughs> no. That's not worth it. That's definitely not worth it. The Wolf Ramen kinda suck, to be honest. But I don't want to spend money on it. Uh, you got free airplay, free fighters. You know what? Let's give our best, our superstar fighter overpower, over strength. 15 out of 10. Surely the new Wunderwaffe will assure victory. Yes! Surely! Uh, how do you lengthen your campaign? Have a burst result in your ambitions? Yes! In, s uh, in effect, yes. Because it, uh, basically uh, the idea is if you do less good, then you have less success, and, there's, and thus you need to do uh, other missions in between. For example, there could have been a mission in Greece, for example, or there could be another mission in France, stuff like that. Or maybe it would simply take longer. For example, we were very quick with Operation Sailover when we took over the English Isles, right? But uh, you can have the same mission just two years later. So, you know, then you got, of course, other stuff at that point. And right now, we are still in 44. Imagine, imagine this, right? It would still be 44. Crazy. And actually, look at this. That's another one. 
27. Sadly, I can't get this one. But uh, at least it's a skill interceptor. He got influence. He's very good. Two experience too, so that would that will help us. Very nice. Uh, but let us look. Uh, take a look at the map first, right? So we are here, and we want to take over Knoxville. Apparently, we start in Philadelphia, which we are apparently have already conquered. Uh, we got only one helper, this flyer. Hopefully, it will actually help us out. We got airfield up there, normal towns, again, normal towns, Maryville, Townsend, a station, another airfield here, there's the research facility, and there's Oak Ridge and Clinton, so two of them, and from how it looks, there's not much uh, finesse that we have, we can maybe use uh, one or two units here. To capture these towns, maybe infantry before artillery, something like that, and you hope to get a bit more prestige, or maybe even go here and pressure uh, Oak Ridge from the north if you can do so. But to be honest, it looks like we need to bum rush Lenoir City and then bum rush Knoxville and the research city at the same time, more or less. Uh, at least that's how I do interpret that. It's also not a very big map. If I take a look at this, I thought it would. Uh, this year is like one screen, two screens, three screens, and to here, right? But if you take a look at this, look how close this is. This is pr a pretty small map. All right. So how do you want to do this? Well, uh, I think it's a good. Uh, this is one of the maps that's a good idea to place your artillery first. So. Something like that, then give me my uh, experienced surviving pioneer, because I plan with you to go over the river, and you will have one of these thingies with you. Now then, on the other side, uh, give me even more artillery. Place the artillery at the front everywhere. Well, not, maybe not everywhere. Mostly everywhere. In case this town is heavily fortified, let's use our other experienced infantry, because they then can go and help out. As for you... Hmm. Let's put you here, so you can also help out. Then anti-air, I just assume those guys won't need any. I also assume I won't need any here right now, we can place them later. So let's go with the tanks first, the heaviest ones. The super experienced King Tiger guy. Here and here. And there, the Yacht stuff. Because they're pretty slow. Not artillery. And then we can place troops here. So again, this here they are the green border, so we can place troops around here later on. And they, they are basically a bit too far away from anything. Uh, I wouldn't mind sending one tank up there though. It wouldn't hurt. The other ones we can then later place around here and continue with that. Airplanes. Let's start with the good stuff first. And then let's see how the map does look like. Well, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything yet, which is weird. Well, I'm seeing one paratrooper. One. Uh, a Polish paratrooper, by the way. Very experienced. So, if we drive closer... What else do we see? Well, not much. Thing is, we can go up to here. You've got a view of two, right? So this one here should mean I can go to there. I, and I can. We got an M26. Uh, I don't like this thing at all. 19, 19, so that's not nice. Um, with that done, let's put down... Oh, that was the wrong thing. Let's put down our recon, because I want to know what's out there. And I directly see an M24, so a, a, a lower variant, not as good. Fine, we can deal with that. And let's see. We got another M26. 
Aggressive Maneuver and Overwatch. So I guess he can help out his friends, like an artillery can. An M8. An M18. And what is this? M4A3. Okay, so quite a few tanks. Quite heavy too. I'm not seeing any artillery yet, but I doubt there isn't any. Whoa! I didn't even want to attack! What the hell? Can I get another? Apparently I can. Uh, those are very end at least. I mean, I only need you to scout, so it's fine. But, um... Yeah. That's one tank less. Well, it wasn't a tank, it was just a recon, but, you know. Oh, yeah. Now, this looks more interesting, huh? Uh, this is anti-air. Only a range of once, thankfully. And this is an... Whatever. I guess maneuver, reconnaissance, blah. And an artillery guy here. Uh, we probably can't take it, but I will still take a look. And in fact, we do. You can attack it without a problem. Haha, <laughs> they got quite a few units here, my friends. They won't make this easy on us. Well, I guess it's time to put down more aircraft. <coughs> and attack the tanks on the out uh, that are outliers here. Hopefully we can get a few benefits out of uh, out of that. And this again was a super bad roll. Instead of a uh, one loss for us, three losses for them. They got zero losses, and we took three. <sighs> oh, nice. I guess maneuver and resilience. Again, a bit unlucky, but it's still fine. Uh, you two can stay. Well, you can stay where you are right now. You Hopefully you can go this one step to here. Then... Po. I don't even... I'm not even sure if I want to go in there. It looks so nasty. You're also nasty. But as far as I'm aware, this is the last mission. So it doesn't hurt as much if we take uh, losses. Because it's over after that. But obviously we don't want to take losses, right? Okay, so artillery. Uh, you're a nice target. Uh, what can you do? Well... Let's destroy the overstrength of the anti-air. And... Oops. Let's go after you. Oh, that was good. Four of the tank is very good, so we should take that. I think you're already shot. Uh, you're a bit in a dangerous position actually, because they can drive one field to the river and then attack you. Obviously we don't want this, so we go after that. Sadly it survived. And then send you to here. You to there, and you should be able to help out the other guys, so it should be fine. And as for you, uh, take out the Polish. Yes. Destroy the Poles.
And I think I want mostly... Oh my god! Uh, yeah. That wasn't very good. Uh, and I think this very experienced unit will now die. I am not sure what it was, but it was a big range. Thankfully, uh, it should... This one should still be safe. It is. Okay, um, what else do we have? For you and you? Um, can I go to here? I, maybe, but I don't want to. Because, uh, no, it might actually be fine. I am basically worrying uh, um, about enemy fighters. And if I could send uh, a fighter of mine here, then these three would be safe. I'm just wondering what the best position, uh, what the best position would be. The Yak Panda. Let's see what the Yak Tiger can do. I don't know, man. You got 28 against 1919, but he got initiative of 11, I guess. You have 12, so you will actually be higher. So I guess it's this higher experience or the entrenchment that changes uh, your chances so much. Well. Sea transport. I, I'm pretty sure sea transport is a, is a wrong name, by the way. Uh, what about our King Tiger? No, Panther G, Yak Panther. How good are you? One seven, one seven, two two, five one. Man, I don't know. Maybe against this guy. Yes, that looks. Oh, that was a good idea. Now let's take uh, care of this unit here. And King Tiger, Yak Panther. The Helden Panther is still around. Oh, is Miso? Is the Miso Soup still around, by the way? I, I'm not sure about this. Yes, Miso Soup also survived. Miso Soup and Helden Panther, the all the named ones, have survived. So far. Eh, uh, no, 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 not, not yet. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that's a, a difference. It's, it's really the experience, I think. Hero 5. What a monster. Uh, what about our King Tiger to here? Zero 06 on their heavy. Also very good. I wouldn't mind losing this unit if the others come down there. Uh, what I don't like is this one here. I don't like this at all. But I have to take a few risks. Dane, I was hoping this would uh, be killing it. Um. This here would take fire from the anti-air from there, I'm pretty sure. So let's take you out. Uh, do I have any more anti-air? Yes, I got one more bomber. And then I need to use my own ones. Uh, but where should I use them? Let's send them to here. I want to know what they have there. Uh, not as much as I feared, more than I was hoping. This is artillery, but only three range, so we are far enough from anything. That's a recon, so this could do nasty things to us. Very nasty things, in fact. Um, I sent this guy to here. So the next turn, you can go over the river, maybe take Kingston. And I'm tempted to go on the attack in this direction. Very tempted. But I feel we need a few more tanks on this side. So what do we have available? Well... Let's get our... Tank show on the road. If you go to here, at least... This guy... Or rather, none of these here can actually hurt us anymore. 
So basically we make some kind of defensive zone here. Uh, as for you, we could go here and take this tank out. And I'm very tempted to do this though. Uh, what can we do from here out though? 1-7 is also amazing. 1-6 on the super heavy tank that we had. They are all good ideas. Well, we have one more tank. Could go to here. Let's actually take out this thing. And that means... We can't go to here anymore, so we go to there. Oh! If you do this, you can take out their anti-air. So they are safer now. Not really safe, but safer. Now, let's use our Bilbulwind, our anti-air. Uh, where would it make sense? Well, clearly here, right? The range is only two, so... This one here is not safe, but... All of these here are basically safe. Well, not completely, but... If they try, they get hammered. And let's see, where's their F fields again? Here and here. So I'm feeling kind of safe. Not going to here. No, let's just go to here. The best choice I can make, I think. And let's get our own fighters down. Uh, the super one can go here, shoot around a little bit. Then. One in there, so that these two are supported. I think took a lot of two. My god. Uh, one here. So these three are also supported. And the last, our super super one. Um, safe, safe. Well, these two are not safe, so let's send you to here. Now the only ones that haven't moved yet are our artillery. And I think this is fine. Okay, so they're only moving around. Anti air. Luckily, this thing survived. Our artillery shoots. Only five could actually attack. That might still be his end, though. Now it's his end, probably. Ah, yes, it is. It was kind of close though, because again, 8 were suppressed in total. And actually that was on the one around and nearly destroys it. But nearly is good enough. So that means they use two planes on it. <laughs> you... He's a... Alright, that sucks. Um Wasn't there a second one? Wasn't there a second one of them? I could swear there was one. Well, how strong are you? 6-7, my god, I can't believe this shit. Okay... Risk it? No risks. It's fine to risk it. Fine. We took Harry Man. Right. How much money did this give us? Not enough. Uh, can we get another flyer? 660 men. Bwah! I mean, we just don't see the other flyer because we lost our unit. That might be. Like this at all? Not at all.
What about our super ace? Six eight. Seven five in the end. Good. Really good. Take this thing out. Alright. Uh, that could have gone worse. Lots, lots worse. Uh, obviously I'm not super happy about it, but still. Probably, let's go to here instead. Take on their artillery so that they cannot really shoot back. Whoops. Free, free. Uh, it's free, free because we are on the freaking river. But I'm not really seeing much alternatives, to be honest. Or do I? This is a bomber. It will hurt us. Oh yeah, I got in. What was it called again? The wolf ramen still lying around. Four, one, one, three. One, three sounds okay to me. It is zero, two. Acceptable. Two, five. Five, five. Ooh, you know, these are the rolls I keep uh, crying about. But still, we should be able to continue. Okay, they ran away, that's not unexpected. Now we took a town, this is enough money, no, it's still not. Cheat, 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 cheat. Uh, Alright, uh, it's time for artillery as far as you can at least. So here, the artillery is at least safe. Because there we got our flyers, right? You are my canary. Your task is to die, I'm very sorry. Ah yeah, and there's the other one. There is the other one. Okay, let's see. Range. How good is the range? To here, to here, to there. Bomb this thing away. This is a Yak Panther, right? Uh, let's attack here the regular, because I think we can insta-kill it if you're lucky enough. Let's lower the level again. That was pretty good. Uh, the only thing that's in range. Fine by me. Closer, one six. Uh, one six. This one doesn't really matter. Uh, this one also didn't do anything. Weird. But I definitely do take that. Uh, since it didn't do anything, let's use my infantry actually. And then light it up. Ah, there's another one, okay. Still, that is doable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you just go to there. Next turn, you can take it, it's fine. You three are over the water next turn, and you one after. And then you can go in this direction and help out. So I guess we should just go full on and uh, defeat them here and go after the research facilities. More Wunderwaffen to meet Grand, yeah. Apparently the Wunderwaffen don't really work uh, that Wunderbar. Who knew? Mm. The Jagd Tiger, huh? Yeah, you can go to No, you can't hit it from there. Uh, you can hit nothing, actually. You t you're simply too slow. Um, like that. Then let's see the speed. 
Let's attack the artillery. Pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. You take care of this regular here, the overrun attack. And then you can still attack the other regulars here. Okay, that looks really good. And as for you... Yeah, 1-7 are great numbers, but I can destroy this special tank, so... Obviously this is the superior choice. And then a range of 2, right? Uh, one, two, three. If you send him here, all of them would be safe. It's It itself would not be safe, though, but... Maybe it's a nice, uh... A nice teaser, you know? So that they go after that one, and nothing else. And obviously, I'm very scared for these three here. And we got one, two bombers lying around. They will hurt us very much also. But I did what I could to mitigate that. In fact, I think that we will lose the, the Sea Transport Yacht Panther next. Yeah, so I expected they attack it. Oh, they really destroyed it, and now they have destroyed it. Well, shit. And shame. Another one that gets attacked. Whoop. Uh, that didn't surprise me. That did. That I don't care about because the thingy really wasn't worth it. Oh god, they got another one! How many bombers do they have? What did surprise me was that... This thingy here, with an attack of two, destroyed nine. That's not nice. Alright. Um, obviously this would be suicide. No need to do that. This one here is another hunter. Fighter, sorry. Yeah, we should just try to take the anti-air down first, I think. Even if we do take a few more losses from this. 6-5 is a bit too much again. And now you shouldn't! I, I didn't want to fly like this! Well, there goes our super friend, I guess. Because next turn he will be shot to shreds. That was really shitty. I didn't plan to do it like that. Alright, there is... an artiller... no, anti-tank. Okay, uh, actually, six, you got 660, what a coincidence, that's uh, the price for one of those. Ah, give me a second. You know what, maybe we shoot uh, the new one. At least you got this bomber destroyed. That is already worth it, right? They lost two bombers. They only have one left, as far as I can see. That and two fighters, I think? Maybe one. We destroyed uh, at least one, right? Oh, yeah. And we got this beauty here, of course. We got our whirlwind. Our whirlwind. Uh, sadly, uh, zero 04 became zero 01. Uh. Okay. You go and take this town. And I just... Oh, no. I did assume that they would have anti-air here. Hey, Ashura, how are you doing? Eee, I hate it. I hate this the most, so you need to go the most. And this is the same. Oh my god, they recovered both. They, reco they recovered both to the same level. Oh, I... Yeah, did this on the time and I click on it. Tired, just like my weekly chess league game. And that sucks. But it is what it is, right? Why is it so heavily armored? Oh, well, we can use artillery to soften it up. 
How was your local festival? Oh my god. It was a long time that I was drunk like that. And most of it is a fault of my father. Oh, come on! That's... that's... bullshit! That's absolute bullshit! I don't care what I lose. We need to take it down somehow. Oh my god, only getting worse? Yeah, ha <laughs> ha Uh, 8-0? No, you mean total destruction, right? Yeah. Oh my god. That's... oh my god. And this this thing caught caught my king tiger in Overwatch. That's so bad. I can't even describe how bad it is. Please attack the bullwind. Keep keep me alive. Don't hit me. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah. That was bad. This Overwatch, that was... Disgusting. Just disgusting. I got my lovely overrun. Uh, but it's not, not enough, clearly. We need to do more. Ah, but what about this thing? God damn it! Boom. Okay. So, yeah, uh, it was great. Kinda, but also terrible. Kinda, you know? In fact, I needed a, a day to recover from this. I'm really not too happy about the things that happened here. One, two, three, four, five. So up, up to here we are kind of safe. Um. I mean, we are making progress, which is good, but we're also getting destroyed, which is very bad. Please don't shoot my artillery. Oh god. This was such a cheap trick from the game. Thank god they destroyed my anti air, which is bad because they got uh, bombers which are brutal. But hey, at least my King Tiger has a chance to survive this. Right, so. Let's take the bomber down. Are you good? Surprisingly good. What about you? 6-5. Is acceptable? Oh, come on! <laughs> It became 8-5! Uh, ah! What a great game!
Okay, so nothing is apparently down there. So, up. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, game. Okay. Still, it's fine. We survived it. it wasn't too bad. Uh, in fact, we didn't lose anything. And we can take this next turn, surely. Let's take Alcoa. Okay, that was also pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Uh, let's take down the anti air here. Nine. Alright, that is taking it down. You have no ammunition left, sadly, right? So. What's the best way to do this? Go to there. Oh! This stupid Overwatch thing. That's. So basically, this tank got Overwatch. That means if something comes in his range of attack, he will dis he will attack it. Like Overwatch from XCOM, right? And he keeps doing it, and I keep forgetting about that. Because it's uh, such a rare thing that this happens at all. And it's even rarer that such a thing happens... Um, happens with a super strong tank with a range of two. Obviously that's still on me, but you know... Good and bad. The, loss is, uh, the losses were quite heavy, but it's worth it. Totally worth it. Okay. There's another one. The question is, how far up is it? Uh, that's not it. There's another one. It's on this thing only has a range of one, I think, or two. So there must be another one here. The ranges. No. The actually was much better than expected. Much better than it has it had any right uh, to be. Now this is a bit ugly. I can't attack this thing from anti-air because well I, I could try because this thing is in the way. And uh, no, I, I could, even then I couldn't because this thing here. Oh, but it had a range of three. It's only but it's only a range of two. So if I attack here, uh, only this guy here would attack me. Well. This is doable, I think. It definitely is doable. Alright, uh, I don't have any money left, huh? Yeah, I don't. So, it could be worthwhile to try this, even if we take losses. It's only three. Well, only one destroyed. That. But we got this thing. That was the important point. And go back. Oh, zero 05. That could be enough. It is. Alright, so we took the town of Oliver Springs. And we're making our way here to Oak Ridge. To these two research facilities. We already took Lenoir City, we already took Alcoa. This thing here is easy. And yeah, it doesn't look to be that much, right? But we still need to go to Mascot. This is just Toy 4. Well, it's both more and less meme, you know? Oh yeah, you. You stay where you are, and let's hope that we can muddle ourselves through. The press wall. I go ten. I don't even know what it was. That, but at least I know where these two flyers are. Ok, 
Okay, so. You shoot this thing. So that you can attack it. And you should be able to take it out. You're super weak, so you can just take it. The others... Entrenchment... I don't like entrenchment from either of you, but you are at 8. And you're also quite nasty against heavies. Against heavies. Uh, they got no artillery, thankfully. Are you entrenched? You're not entrenched at all. At least tell me there's nobody in there. Great. Whew. No ammunition left, so just come closer anyways. Thanks. It's a worthwhile trade. So EU5, yeah, totally. This is EU EU. The most EU ever. Okay. I can catch this thing. Actually... Actually... Okay, so we know it's not here, else we would have seen, uh, seen that thingy. <laughs> also, I don't like that bastard. Oh, the oh, that's the Overwatch asshole. Oh, I got something for you. 3-6, come on! No, it was only one free! Ah, oh, shit! You have no ammunition left. You're only nearly destroyed. Yeah, I think we lost an artillery here. Okay. Th that helps, yeah. No, no, actually... The, this guy here, with nothing left, can do this too. Expect that. And boom. Oh, did you just get... Yeah, and Savannah. You got Determined Defense and Aggressive Maneuver. The Helden Panzer. Doing the good work. Ooh. I mean... 10. Okay. It's acceptable. Poo 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 poo. What would make sense here? Nothing really. Let me just attack that thing. And we can't take you down, sadly. There's just too much going on. One, five, three, three. Just go there and defend, I guess. One free is acceptable. Just gather them a little bit. As for you, go to there. Also fine. The Act Tiger here. Uh, go back to full strength. But. Also you, I need more. You're no help to me on the strength, I'm afraid. I mean, that's better than nothing. A 1-1. One, one. Zero, 2 Good. And that's it. Ah, uh, the bot attack. And this one is nasty. But we did very good. I take this. I hate this. And this is... Very good. This is this. Alright, alright. We're still in the game. Um, in fact, uh, the sea transport Panda G 
got aggressive maneuver and shock tactics. I see. Keep shooting. Hmm. This one. Huh? That didn't work as expected. Not at all. Now, which of you here do I want to attack more? Probably you. Alright. Ah, uh, he refreshed. Fuck. No deed to waste uh, our attack tries here. Okay, take it out. Good. Good, good, good. Let's go off the anti-airs. Oh, neat. Unexpectedly neat. Uh, Retail really really new. Very good. S suddenly very good tank. Huh? Oh, this fucking Overwatch triggered again! I c oh my god, I hate this so much. This F being Overwatch triggered again. I can't believe it. Alright, and with that, we took Knoxville. Please don't tell me there's anything left up there. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. I hate this thing so much. I can't believe I could hate one unit so much. Sacrifice yourself. Act. Four is still too much. Hmm. One three is acceptable. One four is even better. Great, 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 great. This stupid. Oh god. I'm out of words, I'm so angry! In fact, you could go a little bit closer. Hopefully. Let's throw in the kitchen sink. it here. As expected, they go after this thing here, but not after the others. 
interesting choice, but good for me. As expected. What was not expected is that we didn't take any losses. Okay. Is there anything in there? No, there's not. We took mascot. Let me see if this is correct. We only need to take these two now. Oak Ridge and the other research facility. And that, in fact, should be easy for us. Yes, yes, I said easy. And you will see why. 6-6. Six, six. Oh. 7-2. Okay, now it's not longer easy. <laughs> A 7-2 is not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for at least equal numbers. Because we need to get this guy out. Oh. Yeah, th th that does work. Now, we would win if we take out this unit here, right? And take the city. But... This thing here has to die. It didn't. Alright, so now we got uh, ourselves the time. But if we can still attack this... Ah, God sei Dank. Alright. And... King Tiger, King Tiger... Do you have any named unit lying around? The Helden Panzer, of course. The King King Tiger. Ah, uh, Mitsusub is here. Mitsusub can't reach it, sadly. Well... Uh, then let's just use our Pioneer and end it. Er fällt, Marshal. This triumph is a fitting end to our southern campaign. Once again, your skill has led to victory. And more importantly, you have prevented the Americans from using their atomic bomb. Their research facility is a gutted ruin. It is most extraordinary that you were able to capture Knoxville despite this distraction. We must hope that only one such facility exists. Uh, a what, Gnafel? A red alert campaign or what? That was short, that's all there was to it. Or do you mean with RA campaign? Yes. Uh, I mean, I think it was even before the time. It was pretty old. And I promised a few people in, in YouTube, you know, the YouTube scrubs, that uh, we would be playing on a normal difficulty, so only 100 prestige instead of 200, but with the allies. And the question is just, do we want to play with the Americans, the British, or the Soviets? Now, there's a question for chat. In fact, you know, I think I can make a vote, right? So feel free to watch my beautiful screen here again. And let me make a vote. Index 3. Gonna do Baba Joe around, British. How do I do the poll again? What's the most difficult? Please don't give me the most difficult one, because uh, I really can't take it. Um, yes. Question, which alleys come pain? And we got USA, UK, and Soviet. Allow additional votes? Ah, uh, sure, why not. Let's do it for five minutes so that I can go to the toilet or something like this. And do the vote. Yeah, thanks. I, I was just vo doing vote first instead of poll. And I, I really don't know what's the hardest. I think they're more or less the same. They're much easier than Creek, as far as I'm aware. I will probably still fail because uh, I haven't played it in a long, long time. And even with 200, I struggle like like hell. Um, So basically... It, it doesn't really matter too much. Just take what you what you think uh, has the coolest unit or something like that. 
or would have the most interesting campaign and do so. And I'm getting myself another beer. Yes, and UK are tight, so it cannot be them. Ah, I wouldn't. I, f I think the campaign actually is uh, tight, also a little bit, or rather, it's pretty similar. It's just that you uh, have different units, and then you and that you sometimes attack from different parts of, of of the map. But I think got quite a few overlaps. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at my beautiful screens. Uh, say, let me put the screen again, and let's take a look how it behaves. The Soviet. <laughs> Uh, I think someone likes the Soviets very much. That I can already see. Very, very much. Most wasted 19 votes on that, but we will be seeing this at the end, right? We will be able to see this. In fact, can I not just... Yeah, look at this. We will then be able to see who did this to us. Which reminds me, uh, Lucky will be playing what today? Nobody knows, it's still a wild card, huh? Uh, yeah. Totally not a Grimoire. Wild card? It is a wild card, definitely, yeah. Oops, Allah. Hmm. So, probably could defense now. Could, can we do this tomorrow? Tomorrow is, uh, is multiplayer, right? The question is just, uh. I don't want to start a new campaign already. I guess I could show off the the units of all the factions via a custom map or something like that. Or we can play something like, I don't know, Dave the Diver, Death Must Die. Something small, just until we wait until Lucky is there, you know. Or we just end it directly, would also be possible. No? What do you mean, no, Knuffle? Cultivation game? I actually got both installed. <laughs> Uh, well, not both, I got a few installed, but uh, currently I got the Amazing Cultivation Simulator. That is the uh, RimWorld variant, which is very nice, but also very obscure. And uh, Tale of Immortal, which is some kind of... How should I say... Tale of Immortal is more like you go around the map, cultivate of course. It's a little bit round-based. Also very weird, but kinda nice. And it's a little bit like a... Like a mesh em up, so the where you need to dodge bullets and so on. USA, what? What happened? <laughs> Who spent sixty votes on this? By the way, guys, you can still make me block the bleak with eleven thousand channel points. USA, USA, USA. All right, so we will be playing uh, USA with one hundred prestige. Right, guys. I mean, check can always somehow show. How do you, how uh, we voted for what, right? 
Oh, can I, can I take a look at this? I'm sure it's possible somehow, right? Anyways. Let me fix my chat again. Not like this. Like that. Come on. Come on. No, come on. Here. Rob Bomb a couple of breaths. You did it. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's too late. I'm not, I can no longer see it. Well, who cares, right? I'm sure it's not important. Anyways, uh, cultivation game. Well, Gnarful, in case, since, since you said cultivation game, do you want to see Tale of Immortal or uh, the amazing cultivation simulator until the, uh, until Lucky arrives? How about Tell of your model? Fine by me. Uh, I just assume you you don't want to uh, watch through hours upon hours of uh, character creation, so we can just use one of my old games. I might actually be able to capture that properly. Is it more coherent than ACS? No, it's less. It's much less. Much, much less. It's actually impressive how much it is not. And look at this. I can use a normal screen for this. Not be funny. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. So, I found a more excellent cultivation sim. Uh, which cultivation sim? There are actually a few. Quite a few. So basically, uh, I'm playing down chaos mode, which is the highest, which is also the most retarded one. Amazing. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, yes and no. I think if you play it on uh, basically easy mode, uh, then both games you don't need to take care of too many things. Uh, but if you play on Chaos, then your life sucks very much. And you basically want to have all of your spells on uh, red rarity, so basically legendary or whatever, and with the very best uh, stats available. I'm already cheating a little bit, I got a mod, uh, a few mods so that uh, the monsters spawn all the time. And currently I'm in... What did I do? Well, J. It was J. Uh, I'm ready to go to the... I'm basically uh, on Foundation, it's the second mode, the second level, and you can go up to Transcendent and need more and more stupid stuff for that. And to get to Key Condensation, I need to get four of eight of these things and one of these things here. And for these four things, I need to beat up various monsters, which are very strong, and then Chaos will absolutely destroy you. And the only way that these monsters do not destroy you is if you buff up as much as possible and max out everything. The problem is you need to do that all the freaking time. So what I'm doing right now here, uh, in, the, in our small broken sect, Chaos, yes, of course, it's always Chaos! It's Chaos! Uh, I want to get to those. Uh, I actually can use them by now. So, these give me resistance against martial, so against physical, basically. These give me resistance against spiritual. Actually, did I get a few of them already or not? Not. Oh, no, I already have similar things, alright. I need to just, just need to level, level them up. And I need to better the sect, so that I can get a better manuals for foundation on this level here. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, to do so, I actually simply need to wait a little bit. Since I'm the sect master, I can tell uh, what I need to do. And I basically make it so that I will have a maximum of 300 in here. 
And for this I need a bit more recruitment, and then when I have 300 people, that's a maximum you can have in the first zone, uh, you can get... You can set it so that you get a maximum amount of resources, which you then can get for free, since you are the sect master. Besides that, I basically only need to train. Use the background gives you your own sect. Yes, I basically do that all the time, because it's very good, very strong. And then you have finished your sect, uh, your destiny. I can tell what the destiny is. There are many things. And it makes it easier, yes, but you want easier for chaos. And you definitely don't need to do so. Because you can also join a sect and then uh, in some other random sect became a sect master there too, of course, right? Less grindy. Uh, definitely it makes it less grindy and like I said, especially on chaos, you don't want it to be uh, super grindy. So, um... Let's just start with the character, right? So when you c uh, create your character, you can get uh, three so-called destinies by nature. That basically means destinies that you are born with. And I rerolled only for like five minutes for to get uh, amazing ones. Normally you can do this for an hour or two. Uh, the Elder Dragon Aura is what gives you the special sect where you can directly become a sect master and then where you can get a special ability. And such a genius is because then you learn stuff much more quicker and so on, and Falling Star because uh, luck is pretty good too. And I went in full on Lightning, just because. It's not the most perfect one, but it should be fine, as long as I don't overdo it. Like I said, I got a few mods that uh, help out with that, so, it's le so that it is less grindy. And you can grind up all the martial arts, the spirit roots, the art and censorship, I think up to... I don't even know, 75, 90, something like that, in the first zone, and then it goes higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. In fact, uh, we can just take a look at this. Uh, I actually need to be lower than 50. I still get them because I can change them for other things. Uh, ideally, I want to have them all on 50, because not only can I then learn uh, better skills and so on, but they also make it so that I can resist this stuff a little bit. Uh, these things here I can only get by beating up special monsters. And yeah, uh, the idea is simply now wait a little bit until my uh, sect has very good spells and grind a little, a few things so that uh, on here, so that I can get the best of the best things and then I can attempt to take uh, to get the stuff for the next level. What's also very neat is uh, the sect can get materials for the next level, but I, what I want to get. They already have here Fire Jade, which you need to... Fire Jade and Stardust. Stardust, in fact, you need to break through to the next, next level, I think. So Fire Jade is this one here, right? And if you take a look... Oops, I didn't want to do it. No, no, no. Well, I can't do it, but I can still show you that thing here. Uh, Stardust is that thing here. So this is one of the materials I actually need to break through, if I want to use them. You want to get the, mo uh, the stuff that's the most rare, because then you get additional stats, and of course you are even better at fighting, and so on and so on and so forth. So again, you can grind forever if you play it on a low difficulty, it's just kinda neat. And you can beat up monsters, get to higher levels, like Dragon Ball-like, right? And get stronger and stronger. But the higher the difficulty is, the more you want to optimize your build. Uh, ideally, I would even need to optimize what kind of skills I want to learn, but I definitely want to get always the best stuff, like Foundation Heaven, uh, Foundation Heaven here instead of Earth or Mortal. I want to get the best skills. I want to level them up, uh, all up. I want to re-roll them until they are perfect and stuff like that. Right. What was I saying? Now let's we just do a few sect missions in between, and I show you maybe a dungeon or two until Lucky will finally arrive. Let's just try this out. Hopefully we won't die. Because uh, it's, it's also game over if you die, actually. At least on a certain difficulty. So we got 1272 right now. Uh, we got enough spirits. Don't loyalty is perfect. Stability is at max 2. Let's take a look at the dungeon here.
right, and so on. If you're lucky, she just says, you know what, you're right, I go into the afterlife. If not, uh, she fights you. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I think. Just, it's 50-50. And I think she didn't buy it. Thankfully, I got a, a very strong imp already, so... Not just can you have uh, different spells, with, uh, which make it very different. Uh, what you get right now is here uh, various thunder spells, as you can see. Thunders, you got a, a normal attack, you got a special attack, you got a movement attack, and you got an ultimate attack, which you need to uh, load up. And in my case, uh, I selected for, at my start, a uh, special gourd, where I can uh, capture certain monsters and make them fight for me. But there is also another one where you can have revives, and another one where you can get a special attack or something like this. And the gold could also help me out, right? And the attack we saw right now for lightning, uh, for every one of these, and every one of these, depending what you have equipped in here, uh, they are all completely different, which is very cool. And they're not just completely different uh, from the various arts, like if, if you're a blade, if you've got a spear or a sword or whatever else, uh, also, in between, they got different uh, types and variants. And the uh, higher your level uh, becomes, the more different variants arrive. They're not, different, they're not necessarily be better or worse, but... Oh, damn it, was it? How deep does the level... Oh, dude, it goes super deep. There are various side quest events. This is only the first level. You can play this for like 200 300 hours easily. At least on Chaos. Not sure how long you will play on normal. Uh, I made Bass play that too. He spent a few hundred hours in it. Just explore whatever they, they said. Of course, you got also quests. You got the usual auction stuff, right? All the stuff that exists. You got... Uh, <laughs> you can be a number one uh, fighter in a certain art per level. You, you have sect wars. You have sect tournaments. How many wives have already? Ah, I don't have a single one yet. I just started out. Uh, this uh, this save is maybe like 10 hours or so. Oh, there's a thingy. Uh, such a creature free, I guess. I don't even know what this was. There's just a few events in there. And there are quests, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not right. And just now we just seem to help out our, our sector a little bit. Got a few sector resources for this. We can use it, obviously. Mm, but it's nothing I really want right now. Well, what I do want to use, though, is... Where is it? Yeah, I want to use these uh, spear fruits. Up to level 50. And now, we got I got one in each, right? Uh, lightning, I'm already at 50, so it doesn't help me. But what I can go uh, do is, I can go to my... Uh, thingy there. And I can say, I would like to have, I don't know... Wind. Then I need to end uh, a two, in a 2 to 1... Uh, and a 2 to 1, so I always give 2, you get 1 back, and now I can have a uh, wind fruit, and so on. Up until I maxed out with that too, ideally. Good news, Frank. Don't tell me Lucky is not streaming or something similar. He's already streaming! Oh, that's great. And it's Final Fantasy IX! Yeah! Amazing! That's neat. Obviously, and now I need to continue to play with this on my own. Also, I played more... EU4 as this, and it's a completely ridiculous run. In the first five years, Portugal inherited a Piut England, and Scotland did inherit Burgundy. 
Elephant Herald, I mean, they got the they got the Burgundy inheritance in five years and immediately inherited it. And the game hates me. Anyways, let's go raid Lucky and see you tomorrow, hopefully, with Mod Trade Empire. Bye bye.